chosen ones, empaths. As we go through life, like as an empath, um, maybe in our younger years, we're constantly surrounded with people um, in relationships, etc. And we don't realise how much it drains us, you know. We don't realise how much it drains us. And a lot of us need time to recharge, you know. If you're in a in a group setting or you're with a bunch of friends, you enjoy yourself, you have a good time. But then afterwards you might feel slightly drained, you know, and, and, and you need some time to recharge. Well, that's how I feel anyway. And I believe a lot of empaths feel this way. Um, you know, being in a group setting or a busy environment, you need time to uh, recharge. It's like you need to recharge. It drains you a lot. And um, the narcissist is the total opposite of this, if anything. Um, their biggest fear is being alone. And they make these terrible decisions because of this fear of being alone right like they may have had they may have been fortunate to have one of us in their life an empath a chosen one but you've seen it a lot of you have seen it maybe not all of you but a lot of you have seen when they move forward they downgrade they go they downgrade they go back to their level and it's almost like they knew they weren't deserving to be in your life at firstly but it's also because they make terrible decisions, you know. They suffer with this grass is greener syndrome. They think there's greener pastures on the other side. And then they meet this person and they think they're great. Only to realize they're a dusty a few moments later. Very soon on they realize they're actually with a dusty and... They make these terrible decisions, but you see, the narcissist will clutch to this person. They will hang on them. They will clutch to them because of their fear of being alone. A narcissist can't tolerate the world being alone. They need it to, to for their bare living necessity. They need someone to bounce off of. They need someone to berate, to devalue, to do all of these toxic traits to they need someone in their life always they have to have someone being alone a narcissist if for example you were fortunate enough to actually discard a narcissist or cut off as i like to say i don't like to use the discard term with us because we end relationships or cut someone off you know that's the way we do it it's not like we just discard someone like a piece of trash. But um, if you were fortunate enough to actually end a relationship with a narcissist first and they didn't have a new source of supply lined up, this is when it's very dangerous for a narcissist. You'll see them decompose. They are actually decomposed. Like they will, It's like they, they will start to die. Um, and they'll do anything. They'll, this is when they'll make even more desperate, ra rational decisions to find a new suitor, to find a new supply, and they'll settle for anything. They're so desperate in this time when they don't have anyone lined up, and um, you know they can't. They just can't function being on their own. They just can't function being on their own, and I. And look, I understand loneliness. I understand feeling alone. I understand loneliness. But it's it's not that. They need someone to feed off of. Like a parasite. Like a blood-sucking leech. This is the difference. It's not like how we might feel. We might feel a bit lonely or we might feel alone. And we, we, we crave human interaction. It's totally different from that. These lot of weirdos and... They, they they need someone to literally leech off of. They have to have someone to leech off of. This is just the way they are. They cannot tolerate being alone. You know, if you manage to force a narcissist into a situation where they are alone for a period of time, you'll see who they end up with. 
they will downgrade below, the, beyond downgrade. They will settle for anything. You know? These lot are actually disgusting, despicable human beings. They need anyone, right? And this is one of their biggest fears. This is one of their biggest fears. And and, and to be honest with you, the way that the, the life of the narcissist goes, you know, as they age, they lose their charm, <clears throat> they lose their wit. They lose their ability to be able to seduce a supply. So a lot of narcissists do end up growing old alone, you know. They do end up growing old alone. Um, and, 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 you know, there's plenty of people that grow old alone. But when, when it comes to a narcissist, as I said, these like decompose. Their skin, you know, they, they, they actually start to die they, they 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 start to die slowly from the inside out they 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 are dying literally dying without having someone to feed off of you know these are a parasite they are a leech they need something to feed off of they're feeding off you it's totally different from you know how an empath might feel a bit lonely sometimes or an empath might crave a relationship or an or, or an empath might be in solitude by themselves like we are able to like tolerate being alone a lot of us a lot of us here yeah, actually enjoyed our alone time before we met the narcissist you see and after we met the narcissist and the narcissist like brushed off on us you know, it kind of made us into a codependent state where we where we don't enjoy being alone anymore, you know? Like, but when we think back to before we met them, we used to love our alone time. You know, that can happen too. But this is one of their biggest fears, you know, being alone. So you've got to know when you look in the eyes of the narcissist, if they're still around you, if this narcissist is still around you, you've got to know you've got them, like, where you, like, if you get rid of them out of your life, you are inflicting one of the most severest injuries possible onto the narcissist. Abandoning, abandoning them and leaving them alone is the most powerful thing you can do because, well, not the most powerful, there's several things we can do, but I'm saying it's one of the most powerful things you can inflict on a narcissist in terms of injury-wise. Um because they do suffer with abandonment issues they suffer with low self esteem they suffer with low low confidence you know and if you do actually manage to cut one out of your life prematurely before they discard you before they've you know <clears throat> you're a step ahead than I was because I I went all the way to the end you know with the narcissist I went all the way to the end to the full unmasking to the discard all of that you know um but you got to know this. If they're still involved in your life, you've got to know this. They've got a big, deep fear that they have, and that is being alone. And you are someone they're feeding off of. They're literally feeding off you day and night. Like a leech, like a parasite. They're feeding off you to stay healthy. You know? You see a narcissist with their supply, you know? They'll be... They'll be shining, you know. They'll steal your light. It's like they steal your light. It's like they steal it from you, you know. They steal everything you're about from you. And they try to make it their own. But this fear runs deep. It runs deep in the narcissist. And they do make these terrible decisions. So when you lot are witnessing them... In new relationships, um, this is why you notice them downgrade. This is why you notice them making terrible decisions. This is why. Because they can't tolerate being alone for a period of time. They just can't tolerate it. You know, narcissists will die without a supply. 
They will literally die. And they need you more than you need them. And that's one thing that we don't register properly. The narcissist needs us. We don't need them. We thought we were in a relationship where we enjoy each other's company. Um, we are in a reciprocal relationship. This is what we thought we were in. These lot need us to survive. So please, people, if you're still with them, you know, whatever's still tying you guys together, make the cut, dis, um, sever the tie, cut them off, and put them in that position of feeling alone, abandoned, because that's what they deserve. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find a link in the description box. And if you'd like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I've got a secondary channel, the spiritual channel. So anyway, back with another video soon. Peace.